In this video, we're going to look at setting up the Hotone Ampero Control MIDI controller to work with the Tonex pedal from IK Multimedia. So let's jump right into the process. One of the first things you're going to want to do is download the user manual for the Tonex from the IK Multimedia website. Make sure you get the newest version or at least the version that is the current firmware that is on your Tonex pedal. Next, we're going to navigate to the MIDI section of the manual. There's several different types of messages that MIDI can send. There's PC messages, which are for program control. This is like changing presets on your device. Then there's CC messages or continuous control. These are for changing parameters on your device. MIDI can do some other things like having a synchronized time clock. And finally, it can do note on and off messages. Uh, and that's good for like synthesizers and things like that. In this video, we'll look at PC messages to change our presets and CC messages to change our parameters. Sending a PC message of 0 through 127 will take you from patch 0 to 127 on the Tonex. And then by sending a CC message, we can access the last 22 presets in our Tonex. You'll see in the manual that there's a list of CC messages and what parameters they control. It took me a second when looking at the manual to figure out exactly what they were talking about in some instances, but let's take a look real quick. These first five are the five knobs on your Tonex pedal that control parameters. You'll notice that you can't control the master volume via MIDI for whatever reason they chose to do that. Next are the alternative parameters. These are the ones that you get to by pressing and holding down on the parameter button on your Tonex until the alt light comes on. And finally, there's a list of other parameters that you can access via MIDI. But now that we've looked at this, let's take a look at the Hotone control and see what we need to do to get it set up. First off, you're going to want to download the Hotone control app from the App Store, either on iOS or on Android. When you first fire up the app, it's going to search for a controller. And if it doesn't find one, it drops to this screen. So what you need to do is press the search again button and then press the two middle buttons on your Hotone control. I'll do that now. So we see our device is listed, so I'll just select that one and press connect to the selected device. So this works over Bluetooth, so you don't need any connection between your phone and the device. What it's going to do is going to load up all of the presets that are currently on the device into your phone so that you can edit them. This device has 100 banks that you can store different presets on. And each one of those can control external foot switches or expression pedals or just the four main buttons if you want. So I'm going to scroll over till I find a blank spot and we'll start building. The simplest setting is sending a single message one time. So in this instance, maybe we want our Tonex to go to a certain preset whenever we click the first button on the control. You'll see that that button is selected by default in the app. This means that when you press the button, it's going to execute the set of commands and that's it. If you press it again, it'll send the exact same set of commands again. Since I want this button to change to a particular preset, I'm going to set a single message for this button. So I'll press the plus button down here at the bottom, and you'll see that it adds a message. If we tap on that message, we can edit its details. Here you have the MIDI channel that you're going to send the message on. MIDI allows you to have up to 16 channels or 16 different devices that can receive different messages at the same time. In your Tonex global setup, there's a place to set your MIDI channel that the Tonex is going to receive messages on. And by default, this is on channel one. Next, we say what type of message we want to send to MIDI channel one. And in this case, instead of a CC message, we want to send a PC message so that we can change presets. When you change to a PC message, you'll see that you only have one data value that you can put in, and this is the program change that you want to go to. So in my instance, I want to go to preset number six, which is the first patch on the third bank on my Tonex. So if I banked up twice and clicked the first button on my Tonex, it would be that particular patch. So I'm going to put in, in data one, I'm going to put in the number six. The next thing you'll see at the bottom here is the three options of USB, MIDI, and Bluetooth, which you can connect the control to uh, any number of MIDI devices, and you can connect them in these three different ways. So 
for us, we're going to be using the standard five pin DIN MIDI cable out the back. These are the standard large barrel connectors that you probably associate with MIDI. So I'm going to run one of those from the out of the control into the in of the Tonex. And you'll see that I'm only sending the message on that MIDI channel and not to the USB or the Bluetooth. Um, I'm not connecting anything, those two others. So if I had those selected, it really wouldn't make any difference. So now I'm going to click the back button. And you'll see now that I have a single message at the bottom that's a program change to value six. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pedal board and see how this is going to affect things. So here we have the pedal board with the Tonex in the top right and the Impero control down in the bottom left hand corner. For this video, I've hooked up one external dual foot switch and then an expression pedal to my Ampero control. You can hook up single switches, dual switches, or expression pedals, and there's two inputs so that you can mix and match those three devices any way you like. So now I'll press the test button, and this will cause the control to send out my list of messages to my MIDI devices. And this should have the Tonex changed to the proper preset. Now you see this has changed to bank two, the first slot, which is the number six preset. If I go ahead and hit the save button, we can commit this change to the device and then use the actual device to make this change. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Now I'll go over to the board and demonstrate how this is working. Now that we have that working, let's take a look at some other things we can do. The next type of message we can send is a toggle message. So I'll put one of those on foot switch number two. Now that we've changed this to toggle, you'll see that we have an A group and a B group. What this means is that any commands that are listed under the A group will be executed when we click the button. And then when we click it again, anything under the B list will be executed. And then those will just flip flop back and forth. So for instance, we may want to turn on and off our reverb by using the second button. If we look back at our manual, we'll see that reverb is control message number 75. So we need to send a value to CC message number 75 in order to turn reverb on or off. For items that aren't continuous values, like a zero to 10 type values, uh, which you would just use the values zero to 127, an on off value, you wanna put zero for off and 127 for on. This is how we set that up. Let's add a message to our A group. Again, we're on channel one, and this time we are gonna use the CC message. Data one is going to be the number of the message we want to send. So in this case, to toggle reverb, we want message number 75. And when we click it the first time, we want this to turn reverb on. So that's gonna be a value of 127. So here you see we've got a CC message to number 75 of a value of 127, which should then turn reverb on. Now let's add the reverse to the B group. This time, we'll send the message 75, but we'll send it the value of zero. We can test both of these messages before we commit it to the pedal. So here is the A group, and then here's the B group. Let's go ahead and commit that to the pedal. Now that we've done that, we can use the second button to toggle the reverb on and off. Now one of the things you'll want to make sure of is if your preset has reverb on to begin with, you'll want your A group to be to turn it off and your B group to turn it back on. You'll know you've synced back up with your preset when the preset light on the Tonex turns back to green. So if every parameter on the Tonex for that preset is back to the way it's saved, it turns green. And if you have them, any of them different, it's orange. So that's a nice way to know that, okay, I'm back to my original preset. So now knowing this, we can toggle any value that we want between two different values on our Tonex. So if you wanted a 
a low amount of mix on your reverb and a high amount of mix on your reverb, you could go ahead and set that as a toggle on say button three. Or if you wanted your gain to be uh, at a five and then bump up to a 10, you could toggle those back and forth. But what if you wanted to adjust your gain on a continuum uh, using a foot controller? Well, that's when we use an expression pedal to do that. To make that work, we need to use one of the external control ports of the control. In this case, I'm using control port one to plug in my expression pedal. So I'll go ahead and click on control one. You'll see here, the first thing is the type of control we're using, and it is already set to expression pedal. But if I click that, you can see how we can change that to expression pedal, single foot switch, dual foot switch. And uh, make sure to know that these are momentary foot switches, not latching foot switches um, that the uh, control will accept. So let's go ahead and control our gain level with the expression controller. So what I'll do is add a MIDI message to the expression pedal. Because this is an expression based message, you're going to see we have a couple of extra values to put in here. First, we have the channel, and just like before, we have the message number. From the manual, gain is on message 102. Now we put in the minimum and maximum values we want when using the expression controller. So when your heel is down, that's going to be the minimum number, and when your toe is down, that's going to be the maximum number. And remember, the values on the tone X might go from 0 to 10, but the MIDI messages that control that go from 0 to 127. So 0 is 0, 127 is 10, and 64 is 5. And everything else is kind of in the middle there. So you'll have to do that kind of conversion to, uh, to get very specific values. But in our case, we want to go from a value of 5 when our heel is down to a value of 10 when our toe is down. So here in data minimum, we'll put 64, which would equate to the value of five on the tone X. And then the maximum is going to be 127, which would be 10. Now the test, that's just the value that's gonna be pushed when you press the test button in the app here. Uh, that's the only thing that that value does. So. Uh, you can just leave that at whatever. Um, you can put it at 64, you can put that at 92, whatever. It doesn't really matter. It won't affect the final performance. We have our output too, just like we had before. But then finally, we have curve. Curve is going to be how the control reacts to the different values that the expression pedal is sending. Uh, by default, that's linear. So as you push down on the pedal, it's going to co correspond to like a one-to-one -one relationship between how far you've pushed and how high the value gets. But there are several different curves here, so you can have it uh, on the lower end increase a lot faster, and then when it gets to the higher end, have that level out. Or you can choose any one of these curve profiles to adjust how it's going to respond to your foot control. But for us, we're just gonna leave it at linear. So let's go ahead and save this and see how this works. So as you can see, you can do quite a bit with this really easily. And what's really nice is you can set up up to 16 different messages per button press. So if you've got multiple devices that accept MIDI, you can chain them together and have each one of them receive a different message with each button press. So you could set up some complicated different presets and uh, toggles with this. Um, I'm planning on when the new Tonex effects comes out in November of 2024, that I'm gonna have several of my buttons be toggles for the different effects, and then have each bank be a major preset. Now what's great about the Hotone Ampero Control is that it's a really rugged unit. I was really impressed with the build on it. It's, it's pretty sturdy. Uh, the buttons feel pretty nice. Um, and the expansion modules also have that same construction. Uh, the Ampero Press as an expression controller, I just got it recently and I've uh, just started working with it. And so far, it seems like it's going to be a decent volume pedal. The real bonus here is that the control itself is under $100. The expansion buttons are about $20 a piece. 
and the uh, press is under $100 as well. So you can really get a full MIDI controller setup for just a couple hundred dollars maximum. And that's like eight buttons or uh, six buttons and an expression pedal. Um, so you can do quite a bit with this. Uh, there's definitely more complicated MIDI controllers out there. Um, and I really haven't had a chance to work with any of those. Uh, hopefully I will in the future. But for now, this is going to be a great entry level for me for getting into MIDI on my pedal board, uh, especially with the new Tonex effects coming out in November. So if you've watched this far in the video, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you again on my next video. Thanks a bunch.